I'm LR360, and welcome to yet another spine-chilling installment of Mysteries Unraveled. Today Today's episode, we'll start the Axeman of New Orleans. The Axeman of New Orleans was an American serial killer active in New Orleans, Louisiana and surrounding communities including Gretna from May of 1918 to October of 1919. Press reports during the height of public panic about the killings mentioned similar murders as early as 1911, but recent researchers have called these reports into question. The Axeman was never identified, and the murders remain unsolved. He mainly targeted Italian immigrants and Italian Americans. As the killer's epithet Im implies, the victims were usually were attacked with an axe, which often belongs to the victims themselves. In most cases, a panel on a back door with a home was removed by a chisel, which along with the panel was left on the floor on the, near the door. The intruder then attacked one or more of the residents with either an axe or a straight razor. The crimes were not motivated by robbery, and the perpetrator never removed items from his victims' homes. The majority of the Axeman's victims were Italian immigrants or Italian Americans, leading many to believe that the crimes were ethnically motivated. Many media outlets sensationalized the aspect of these crimes, even suggesting mafia involvement despite lack of evidence. Some crime analysts have even suggested that the killings were related to intercourse and that the murder was perhaps a sadist, specifically seeking female victims. Criminologists Colin and Damon Wilson hypothesized that the Axeman killed main vic male victims only when they obstructed his attempts to murder women, supported by cases in which the women of the household was murdered but not the man. A less plausible theory is that the killer committed the murders in an attempt to promote jazz music, suggested by a letter attributed to the killer in which he stated that he would spare the lives of those who played jazz in their homes. The Axeman was not caught nor identified, and his crime spree stopped as, mysteri as mysteriously as it had started. The murderer's identity remains unknown to this day, although various possible identifications of varying plausibility plausibility have been proposed. On March 13, 1919, a letter purporting to be from the Axeman was published in newspapers saying that he would kill again at 15 minutes past midnight on the night of March 19th, but would spare the occupants of any place where a jazz band was playing. That night, all of New Orleans dance halls were filled to capacity and professional and amateur played Bands played jazz at parties at hundreds of houses around town. There were no murders that night, thankfully. To this day, the Axeman's mystery have never, has never been solved. Thank you all for watching, have a good one, and as always, we'll see you next time.